Here's our next video for the next tool or the next process on creating compound path. Now, a compound path is what I call a donut hole. And there's a lot of letters that are actually compound paths, a compound path. Think of any letter in the alphabet that has a hole through it, like A, B, D, O, P, Q. All those letters have an outside path and an inside path that you can now see through it. So I'm going to call this, these are donuts. I'm going to go ahead and zoom on this. So the way to make a compound path in order to make a donut is to go is to select both objects here. We're going to select both objects, the two ovals, but not the pink. Do not grab the pink rectangle and object compound path make. That's what we're going to click on. Or you could just right click and make compound path. I'll do it both ways. So you got to grab both of these, but not this pink rectangle. All right. So I'm going to use the click and drag method. I'm going to click and drag, select the black oval and the gray arrow excuse me, and the gray oval, object, compound path, make. All right, object, compound path, where are you? Down at the bottom, and go ahead and click make. Hey, by the way, you might want to look at this. This is part of the worksheet also. What is the shortcut? It's right here. All right, I'm just going to click on make. Boom, now we have a donut hole. And if we want, we can go ahead and change the color to the same one blue. All right, same thing on this one. We're going to make a compound path. It works with Oops, let me double click. I went into isolation mode, double click in the white area. So if you have a star here, we have the star and the R. Grab both pieces, grab both, select the R and the star. Now I'm going to do the secondary one. You could do right click, right click, make compound path, right click, make compound path. Now, as of right now, this may just be a, a black R and a white star. I don't know if it's a compound path. I don't know if I can see through that until I add a pink rectangle behind it. So let's go ahead to our shapes, go to my rectangle. Let's draw a rectangle. Let's color it into pink, but I need to put it behind it. So from a previous worksheet, go to my black arrow, we could right click, arrange, and send it to the back. All right. Now I can see through this. I can see that this is a donut hole. All right. Shortcut for compound path. It's up there. and Or make sure you've typed that here on the previous part of this video. All right. So what if we start with a letter? It gets a little bit trickier. Right now, this is still a font. You can see in this video, this is Berlin Sans FB. So follow these steps here. But first, we need to create outlines. This is what I call unfont. So I'm going to select the R, right click, create outlines. So now it's no longer an R. It's just a shape that looks like an R. Now we've got to ungroup it. So right click, ungroup. Keep going, keep going. Now it's ungrouped, but we have to go right click, release the compound path. So this was the compound path. This was the inside and this was the outside of it. All right, so that's step number four. Um, well, we now have two pieces. This is the inside of the R and the outside. Now we have to move Move the R to the side so you could delete the inside part. This we're not going to need. I'll leave it there or delete it. All right, now we can move, take this uh, little Jaguar head, put on top of the R. Now let's make this into a compound path. Select both objects, the R and the Jaguar. Right click, make compound path. Now we can see it, but the way to, the way to tell for sure is let's go and put a blue oval behind it. So I'm going to click, go to the ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse. Let's change it to light blue, but I'm, I need to send it to the back. Right click, arrange, send all the way to the back. Now you can see that you can see through this art right there. All right. Hope that helps. Have fun with that. Think of all the options and things you can do with compound pass. All right. Hope this helps.